During the time of the dinosaurs, the skies were dominated by flying reptiles called pterosaurs. There were over 250 species, and some of them were enormous. One of the most interesting, because they're the most bizarre, are the Ajdarki pterosaurs. And to try and describe what an Ajdarki pterosaur is like is very difficult. They stand as tall as giraffes. They've got heads that may have been two meters long, wingspans of 10 meters. They're just some of the most bizarre things who have ever evolved on Earth. Despite their size, these giants were well adapted for flight. So why do we think they hunted on the ground? The Asdarkid's wing is a skin membrane supported entirely by a super enlarged fourth finger. This skin membrane extended from the tip of that giant fourth finger all the way to the top of the hind leg. Asdarkids were supremely adapted for covering great distance, but they weren't the kind of animals that were twisting and turning and making agile movements actually in flight. This would have made it hard for Asdarkids to catch other flying animals. They must have had a different way to hunt. One of the most prevalent ideas about how Ashdarki pterosaurs may have fed is by using this bizarre mechanism of foraging known as skim feeding. Today, birds like black skimmers feed in this way. It's the most ridiculous way of getting your food you can imagine. It is literally pushing your lower jaw through the water and crashing into your food. A skimmer's neck is built to absorb sudden impacts. But fossils reveal as darkids had none of these adaptations. In fact, they would you know, almost certainly break their necks from just the strain of trying to push their lower jaws through the water. And as darkid had no option. It must have landed to find food. But could it really walk fast enough to hunt? Scientists needed evidence to persuade them that it could do anything more than just waddle. That evidence comes from 66 million year old footprints. The biggest pterosaur track in the world was made by a walking giant aged archid. That's not only a cool thing to have, it tells us an awful lot about how efficient they were at walking. These tracks show they held their limbs directly under their body, giving them an upright stance. Their feet were padded, and unlike the small pterosaurs, their long legs gave them an enormous stride. Although ash orchids are peculiar looking animals, they're moving very efficiently. As Darkids combine this very competent terrestrial walking ability with this massive long stalk like face. They almost certainly were predators that walked around reaching down to grab animals. We have to remember that the throat size of this thing is half a metre wide. That's about the width of my shoulders. We would be on the menu for these things if they were alive today. Pterosaurs would have been an awe-inspiring sight in the sky. But these giants were even more impressive and terrifying on the ground.